We're going to start with the Kids Africa Map elements. We're going to we're going to load all the elements and the Africa Map, all but the background. When we come to load the background, I'll show you how to change the extension so you can load it and use it. Um, we're going to go to File, Open, and I know it's on my desktop, so I'm going to go to Desktop, and when you download it from uh, the Drop, well, not the Dropbox, Doc Sharing, um, it opens up a zip file and it says Segment 2. Uh, I should probably change that, but I'm not going to right now. This is the one that won't open because it's actually not a .psd, it's a .jpg. Maybe I should, if, can we change it in this mode? Let's see if we can change it in this mode. No, we can't change it. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all of them by holding the shift key and then hold the command key, the control key on the PC and unselect, deselect the background. Um, I'm going to double click and everything will open. We're going to prepare the images that are going to be a part of the Africa map. And we're going to introduce you to the magic wand tool. Over here, the fourth one down, there's two selection tools in here. If you hold down your mouse button, quick select tool and magic wand tool. We're going to use the magic wand for this one because if you make a mistake, I want you to have a backup. We're going to make a copy of this. I don't know if I've shown you command or control on the PC, J. Command J will copy. Now I want you to turn the eyeball off for the one underneath it. And I'm going to show you why right now. I'm going to turn it back on. I'm going to go with my magic wand and select the white and hit the delete key on the keyboard. That's on a Mac. On a PC, it's the backspace key. And if you look at my thumbnail, you can see the checkerboard. I deleted it, but you can't tell because my backup copy, the eyeball's on. When I turn it off, there you have it. So you have to pay attention to what layer you're on and what layers you're looking at. Um, I'm going to deselect, go to select, deselect, because I want to talk a little bit about the options bar up here and the tolerance. That's what we're going to be changing. The tolerance defaults to 32. And I'm going to show you, if you, if you have a one tolerance, that's the tiniest amount of pixels it's going to look at. When you click on that pixel, if everything's that pixel color, it'll select all of those. If it's not, it won't. If you put like a hundred in, it would look at a lot of pixels similar to the one you click on. So I'm going to change this just to show you uh, to 100. Return key. I'm going to click, oh, turn off the eyeball. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, oh, shame on me. I have to throw this one out. See, I got fooled. And make another copy, Command J. Now turn off the eyeball and work on the copy. Oops. Okay, I have tolerance of 100. Click. And I'm going to hold the shift key to get this white area between his legs. And I'm going to hit delete. Now, clearly, I'm going to get the zoom tool. Clearly, this was way too much tolerance. Um, I think I'll get the history panel out here. Let's take a look at that while we're looking at this. Um, see, it doesn't record everything, but it does, clear means delete. I'm going to move up, there's my magic wand, up, up, that far, that's how far I'm going to move up. It's multiple levels of undo. Command Z or Control Z is undo, redo. This is multiple levels of undo. It doesn't record everything. Notice Command J is called layer via copy. If you want to find it, 
It's under Layer, New, Layer via Copy. All right, 100 is way too much. So I'm going to go back to the Magic Wand tool in the toolbox. I'm going to change the tolerance to 1. Return key and click. That doesn't look bad. It could leave some white fringing. Sometimes I'll go to 2 or 3 with something like that. But with this, I'm just going to leave it at one. Now notice these icons up here, and it was on add to, so you see the little plus sign? I like doing it the old fashioned way, holding the shift key and adding to. And I'll tell you the reason why. I mean, this is great if I'm doing a lot of adding to these little icons up here. However, they're called sticky icons, which means until you change it back to regular, it's always going to be on Add to Selection. So, you know, it can be okay. It just depends on what you're doing. I'm going to put it back and do it the old-fashioned way. Hold the Shift key, add that white there to the selection, and then hit the big Delete key on the keyboard. Not the little one, but the big one. And there you have it. I'm going to go Select. Where's deselect? Deselect. And now I have the tiger without the background. I'm going to go save as. And I'm going to make a folder on my desktop. I'm going to call it Karen's Africa Map. Create. And I'm going to save the tiger that I know I did in there. Now I'm going to move over here to the chinchilla. Now you should probably do this without my help, and if you were in my class, you would. But I'm just going to do it, and I'm not going to do it slowly. I'm going to make a copy of the chinchilla this time by dragging it down to the icon next to the trash can. Turn off the eyeball. Click. Now go get the magic wand. Leave it at 1. It selected all that, and that looks pretty good. I wonder why on another computer it looked like there was a white area. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to hit delete. There's the chinchilla. I'm going to go command D for deselect, and now the chinchilla is done. I'm going to go shift, command S for save as. I'm going to make sure I, now if I click this, it's going to show some of the other places I've saved things recently. And there it says Karen's Africa map. I'm going to save this one. This is the Dun Chinchilla into there. I'm saving them, but I'm also leaving them on my desktop. It's just in case the computer crashes, I leave them on the desktop. The next one I'm going to do is the Mountain Goat. Now, normally we've been selecting the background and deleting it. I'm not going to do that with the mountain goat. I'm going to hold the space bar and pull it up a little bit. I'm going to get the magic wand. I'm going to change the tolerance to 60. Sometimes it's just a guess. Um, I'm going to select the goat. Now I'm going to show you a new tool. Under select, I'm going to go to grow. That's not bad. Under select, I'm going to go to grow again. That is good. That is very good. All we need to do is add this little part to the selection and add this part to the selection. I'm going to show you if I cut it out like this, what's going to happen. I'm going to go Command J. Command J also cuts things out that are in selections because we've got the goat selected, so we're not going to delete or we'll just have a hole in the shape of the goat. I'm going to, I just made a copy. I'm going to turn off the eyeball and see there's a hole in the eye and a hole in the foot. So I'm going to go back up my history, just one, and I'm going to add this to the selection and this to the selection. I'm not going to use the magic wand. I'm going to use the marquee. It's just much easier. I'm going to hold the shift key. See the little plus sign? And I'm going to draw a little square around the eye. And I'm going to draw a little rectangle around the foot area. And now everything's selected. 
and I'm going to go Command J, Control J on the PC, and there's my goat, all nice and selected. I'm going to do a save as, I see that's Shift Command S, on the PC it's Shift Control S, Mountain Goat, I want to save it back into my folder, Karen's Africa Map, save, and I have one more to do, and that's the serval, and hopefully I can get it in in time so that I can start on the map on part two, because this is part one. I am going to go to the magic wand. I'm going to select all the white, hold down the shift key, select there, and I'm going, oh, I should have made a copy. I can still make the copy. I'm going to drag it down. I can't make a copy with Command J. Turn off the eyeball. All right, hit the delete key. Command D to deselect. Let's go to the lasso tool. The first lasso tool I'm going to use is the freehand. It's not good for a lot of stuff, but for this up here, see how I'm drawing around this cat head up here, and you have to end where you started. And then I'm going to hit the delete key on the keyboard. Command D to deselect. And I see schmutz in here. This time I'm going to go to the polygon lasso. Now it's, it's kind of a rubber band line, see? But you can do it in shapes. So I'm just, you have to click, click. Every time you want to move in another direction, you have to click. And then you have to end where you started, hit the delete key. And then over here, I see some schmutz. So I'm going to just go down like that. Awfully close to that serval there. Back up. See the little circle? It says, yes, you are where you started. Hit the delete key. Command D. And now I have the serval nice and clean. I'm going to do a save as. Segment 2 is where I keep the originals. And Karen's Africa map is where I keep the ones that I separated from the background. Save. We're going to stop here and pick up on the Africa map in part two.